today we're going to be learning about color theory. First, we're going to watch this video here from The Art of Ed about what is color. And then we're going to look into how to create these explosions of color across a piece of paper. So the materials that you're going to need today is a large paper. We'll be using our 12 by 18 paper. You can either use oil pastels, markers, or even crayons. Um, if you have color pencils on you, you may use those as well. Each of these will give a different look and texture to your piece, but they all blend and work well together. So let's take a look at our color theory. I have a lot of gifts going on on this screen here. So we are going to look at our primary colors, which are red, yellow, and blue. Our secondary colors, purple, green, and orange. Warm colors, which are like the sun, the red, orange, and yellow. Cool, like the water, is purple, green, and blue. And lastly, Roy G. Biv. And we know that is the order of the rainbow because of how the colors, when they're next to each other, will create the secondary colors. So looking at even here on my GIF, red and yellow and blue, when you mix yellow and blue, you make green. When you mix red and yellow, you make orange. And when you mix red and blue, you make purple. And that is why you have the color of the rainbow. You add in I for indigo, and that becomes, before we go into it further, the tertiary color. And so that means it's a little blue and a little purple, and that makes um, a tertiary color. So today we're going to use our paper and we're going to create these color explosions. Each time you make it, it might be a little different. You'll notice certain ones might explode more across it um, on your paper than others. So here it's a little bit lighter uh, using crayons. If you use oil pastels, you can see that it's a little bit more vibrant because they blend together a little bit better. Um, markers will give a different texture too. So these here, we're only using warm and cool colors and these here used all of the color uh, theories that we just went over. Here's an example of what we're going to be doing today. It's going to be using each of those different color theories and we're going to look at a worksheet that we fill out together to just kind of help us guide making our color explosions. So here is an example of what we're going to do. Now with the color explosion sheet in front of you, Let's try to review what are the primary colors. Red, yellow, and blue. Then, what are the secondary colors? Green, orange, and purple. Now, let's look at the warm colors. Think of colors like the sun, something that makes you think of things that are hot. So that'd be red, orange, and yellow. Next are our cool colors, which make you think of water and cool and calm. So that would be blue, green, and purple. And finally, our last one are, is the rainbow colors. So in order to help remember the order, we think of Roy G. Biv. Red, orange, yellow, blue, indigo, and violet. Remember indigo is a mixture of blue and violet. It's a cherry color, one in between. Now to help me with my guidance on here, what I'm going to do is take out some different crayons and just mark it so it's just easier for me to see the colors. You don't have to do this, but if this is something that helps you, you are more than welcome to go ahead and do so. Now let's take a look at our worksheet here again. So we have our primary, secondary, warm, cool, and rainbow colors. This is kind of our plan area. Where do you want to put these five different areas? Do you want to have um, where you focus on only primary colors? Do you want to focus on the secondary? Do you want to have all five on there? Or would you like to have different explosions of the rainbow? 
either or, now that we've looked at it, you can either have all of them on there or you could focus on just having one where you have different little ripple effects or explosions of that color on here. So this is your plan. Where are you going to start each of these explosions? Before we begin with on our main paper, what I want you to do is practice making these lines. So what you're going to be doing is an up and down motion and you're going to just create it to go around that dot or that circle. And it can get longer and wider as you'd like or shorter. So you could do it on the front or back and I'm showing you right now just using markers because they're really nice and dark and bright. But I'm just going around an up and down motion so that way it looks like an explosion. And when you go to switch to another color, you're going to get it as close as you can to that first color. Craypaws do a really great job of this because you can see it blending and crayons are pretty similar. Now you can use on your paper, you can follow what you did. I recommend taking out the colors that you need for the entire project, which would just be the Roy G. Biv if you're doing all of them um, or even a variety of them. So start with either the center or one on the right or left somewhere of a corner. Um, I like to start with the center for me because that's where I want my focal point to be or the focus, but you can be wherever. So here you see I started with the red. I didn't make it too big and I'm going all the way around with the same up and down motion. And I know it's hard at first to see what I'm doing, but as you look at it, and you practice with it, you'll be able to see that same stroke. You're gonna keep building and building and building. And I also kept this blooper or oops in here to show you. At first I was thinking that I wanted to have these be the warm colors, but then I realized, no, I wanted this to be my Roy G. Biv. And luckily orange can cover the yellow. So I do go back and fix this, I promise. But I even wanted to show that even beautiful oopses happen to me. So take this time now to look at your plan and start building your explosions with your colors that you have chosen and continue to keep building and building it out. Make sure you're taking your time, you're getting your lines nice and close. If it's easier to rotate your paper, you can do so um, to make it easier to go around the circle, but it gets easier and easier the further out it gets and the larger it gets as it ripples out. You'll notice as I build my other explosions, I make sure that I go as far up as I can and kind of have it look like it's hiding behind another one. So don't worry if one seems larger than the other. They're all going to be like fireworks behind each other. So take your time going through, really get all of the corners and crevices and leave a little bit of space and I'll show you in the next little spot how to fix that. Now that you have the majority of your paper filled, you might have a couple spaces left open and you're curious how you're going to fill it. So you have another option here. You can have some small ones that are slowly exploding out or you can continue the pattern that you created with one or two of the color theories. Maybe you want one to take over everywhere where it's just growing and seems to be the largest. 
it's completely up to you. So you can expand it that way or you can start a fresh new one, maybe repeating Roy G. Biv or a warm or a cool, whatever it is that you would like.